initially it was my daughter's voice on the phone. Former Dauphin County Treasurer Janice Creason tells me the call she got from someone claiming to be her daughter was very convincing. She said, I was in an accident. I, I think I broke my nose. The story of some kind of accident involving facial injuries is often used by scammers just to give them cover in case the person getting the call thinks their relative's voice sounds a little different. In the background, I heard people talking. I heard sirens. I heard what sounded like an accident scene. Janice said she ended up speaking to someone posing as a police officer and a lawyer. All voices that she believes were generated by AI. Was there anything that sounded robotic or machine-like or unhuman about this phone call? That's, I think, Brian, the really insidious nature of this. Nothing. Nothing. Janice says she has no idea how scammers may have captured her daughter's voice. But after texting her daughter several times, she got the response she was looking for. She texted me and said, why are you calling me? I'm in a conference. You know that. Like, why are you interrupting? I can't talk. And that was the best text message I've ever gotten in my life. Well, but it was. These scams involving artificial intelligence are multiplying by the day. By the day. And so you and your family should be prepared. Consider using some kind of code word or a passcode to use within your family in emergency situations. If the caller can't provide that information, Chances are you could be getting scammed here. And guys, I want to circle wow. back to this thing I mentioned about facial injuries. Yeah. So to be clear about that, in these cases, the scammers will quite often claim that the person making the call, in this case the daughter, was injured. She had a broken nose mm -hmm. so that her voice is altered. So if you get a call from your kids, you're going to say, oh, well, that's probably why their voice sounds a, a little, little different because different, yeah. they broke their nose or they had some kind okay. of mouth injury. Thought ahead that's why that. they do this. Mm. Yeah, they have. So a lot of us seeing the story wonder, and I know Janice couldn't figure out either, yeah. how did the scammer get her daughter's voice? Think of all the places your voice is. Your voicemail message on your phone, uh, you leave a recording somewhere, social media, a lot of younger people apparently, you know, they do mm. videos, oh, put sure. them on yeah. social media, right. and that may have been the case. We don't know in this case what happened, but that may have been the case here. Your voice is in a lot of places, and that's possibly where they can get it. And when they do these AI recreations, they only need about 25 words from your voice to do this. Wow. It is scary, it scary is. stuff. We cannot warn people about this enough. Wow. wow. I like that. I like the using a passcode. Use the passcode. Talk yep. to my kids tonight right. about that. All right. Hey, thanks, Brian. Brian. Thank you.